is going on everybody this is strydox here bringing you another castle clash video and in this video it's pretty much gonna be a uh, very simple type of castle clash video i guess um the video is going to contain me doing hero expeditions and pretty much how to go through uh level one all the way to level 10 pretty quickly um i'm sure majority of you may already do this but this is for some of the beginner Castle Clash players, for those who have uh, lower level monsters and want to try to, you know, get to the higher uh, hero expeditions for more honor badges. So let's go ahead and get into the video. Um, yeah, I'm, my mind just went blank, but wow, my mind literally just went blank, like, Big time. Hero Expeditions, there it is, under the arena. I couldn't find where it was. Anyways, guys, I've already done uh, the Expedition 1, and I'm already on my 4 right now. I started it, and I was like, well, I kind of want to make a video on it. So, um, pretty much it's all the same, um, for the most part. It obviously, it gets a little bit harder, but we're on, here, we're on Hero Expeditions 4. My heroes here is what you see right here. Uh, for the most part, I make sure I have ranged heroes who are going to attack from distance. So I got like my Reaper, Pixie, my Harpy Queen, Spirit Mage, Ares, uh, then I have like Thunder God and uh, Santa Boom, things like that. Those help out tremendously. Um, for those who don't have like, you know, obviously like Minotaur, that you know, things like that, you can always use, you know, your like your main hero is kind of like uh, Thunder God, uh, majority may have. Uh, even, like, Pixie or, uh, Ares, things like that. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, I mean, there's also some green and blue heroes you can use as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. So, pretty much, we're, we're gonna look at this base here. We have, uh, okay, so your main heroes and stuff are down here, okay? You have, all, you have all these out here and all these buildings out here, but you wanted to get 100%. So this is what I usually do, okay? I set my my heroes that, that are going to attack heroes in, in the base over here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and set those heroes out first, okay? So that's, that's mainly like my Spirit Mage, my Harpy Queen, and then over here I'm going to put like my Reaper, Santa Boom, Ares. I uh, also put like a Thunder God out here. Uh, and then put like Pixie, um, and also a Minotaur, okay? So all these heroes are going to get attacked. Their heroes are going to get attacked while my heroes are just attacking their base. So for the most part, they're going to get taken out, hopefully. So I should have Harvey Queen and Spirit Mage destroy the majority of them. So now the majority of them aren't dead yet, so now I'm going to throw down my main heroes, which it consists of, uh, uh, Botanica and Destroyer to just finish off the rest for those for the heroes that haven't died yet. So pretty much you just have your heroes set off to the side and that do like like Spear Mage and Pixie that attack from distance, they're they're procs, and you just let them um you just let them kill kill off the heroes while you don't get attacked. So I'm gonna do that pretty much for the whole entire uh, base setup or try to anyways. So now what we're looking at, we're having uh, kind of a smaller setup here. Uh, obviously they got garrisons and things like that, so what I would do here is no matter where you set your heroes, the garrisons are going to attack your heroes, okay? So I don't want to put out Spirit Mage or Santa Boom or anything out here because they'll take all the damage because they're the first heroes getting put out. Um, so I want someone who's going to absorb all that all that, um, all that, that damage taken. So for me, it's going to be Destroyer. For other people, it may be like Multanica or it could be Paladin. You could use Paladin. Any hero who has a bunch, a bunch of health. So anyways, so I'm looking for openings here, and I see I'm just going to put right here, and I'm going to lead with Destroyer. He's going to take all the damage from all the towers. Right here. See see all the towers? None of my heroes are going to attack except for Destroyer, right? So we're just going to have that go into effect. Uh, hopefully have Vlad and Destroyer and all my other heroes put in work here and take out the rest. Destroyer takes the majority of the damage. He has a shit ton of health. So um, chances of him dying is... You know, not very likely, and the fact he has 8 of 8 revive is really, really, really hard to kill him, guys. It really is, especially the way I have my destroyer set up. Um, I mean, and he's also evolved, so his health, guys, is just through the roof. I mean, 101,000 uh, HP for for the first evolved. That's freaking ridiculous he still has it he can evolve one more time okay like that was for all heroes all heroes can evolve twice 
So, uh, obviously, I would upgrade him, but he doesn't have the honor badges to right now. So, I'm still working on that. But, uh, but yeah, so uh, that's that. You want to use the tank hero for smaller, compact bases. Okay, so now we have this base here. Got buildings around this base. Uh, got some garrisons. Okay, so we're going to do like we did the, the first base that I showed y'all. We're going to like Pixie out here, Spirit Mage, Harpy Queen. Then we get some like Thunder God action going. Got some Reaper action, Santa Boom. Got some Ares. Um, this time, guys, I'm, I thought throughout Harpy Queen, but I guess I didn't. I'm not going to throw out my... Uh, I'm going to put Keep It just to give everybody extra procs. I'm not going to put Minotaur because he attacks all the buildings and I don't want all them to die. I did not mean to throw my Destroyer out. That was a mistake, but that's okay. Um, Thunder God should die here any second now. Spirit Mage should proc and kill him right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw my heroes. I only have enough for one more anyways, but that's okay. Okay. So another 100%. And you see right there I got 2,000 honor badges, which is, which is awesome. So now we're on R7. So, okay, this base here, we have a bunch of openings right here, and we have the base setups here. So, all, all four corners, it looks like. So, what we're going to do, we're going to do the same thing. I oh, know I put Destroyer out. That's not good, but that's okay. Thunder God over here, put Spirit Mage, probably put Harpy Queen with them. Uh, Pixie will go over here. And then I'll probably throw out my Keep It to just give everyone extra procs. This should be easy. Everyone should die now. Okay, I'll go ahead and throw, it, throw out my other heroes. Well, Tanaka can just go ahead and finish them up. Shouldn't be a problem at all. So I get 2,000 honor, bad, honor badges right there. So, all right, now we're moving on to R8. All right, looks like we're gonna have another f setup out here on the corners. So again, we're gonna keep doing the same thing. No matter how easy or noobish this may look, guys, as long as you get the setup or you get the setup right and you complete it, like who cares, right? Like who cares? Yeah, obviously, got some people still left over here. Spear makes you attack from the distance, but I'm gonna go ahead and throw out my destroyer right here. Vlad's gonna proc, but most likely. Unless Santa Boom can take him out, which he did, which is awesome. Okay, so no one, so no one died there. Still looking good here. Now we're in R9. Alright, so we got some magic towers here. But again, they're having setups like this. We're going to take full advantage of that, guys. Full, full advantage. Go ahead and put that Thunder God, Santa Boom, Ares. Put that Harpy Queen out here. Also going to put a keep it over here just to give everyone extra proc. It's looking like, okay, it's looking like they got a Harpy Queen as well. So their Harpy Queen is going to be proccing, which is not good. So that's why they're going to keep it out just to heal some people. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and throw my Destroyer and Molt out. I don't know if he killed anybody. He killed my Reaper and my Spirit Mage, unfortunately. I did not realize he had a Harpy Queen. Uh, Harpy Queen automatically procs when he gets 5 of 5 revive. And for us attacking their, him and in the base, his proc goes up. So every time he hits 5 of 5 revive, he's going into proc. Alright, so I just lost two heroes there because of his Harpy Queen. Shouldn't be a big deal. Um, I'm just going to put Trinitar and just a ninja out there just because. But that's alright. That's alright. Okay, see here he has Harpy Queen again. So what we're going to do here, guys... Um, we're going to do the same thing, and, and this time I'm going to throw a Druid out, just because I don't want, uh, his Harpy Queen to be able to take out my heroes. Alright, I'm going to put a Minotaur over here as well. His Harpy Queen should die. Okay, he's about to die. It's going to be not tough to beat. But this Vlad here is going to proc like 100% and his Santa Boom. So that's going to be a downfall we're going to have here. See that Vlad is proc, but my Destroyer proc is good. Alright, they took out my Destroyer, but my Santa Boom should be able to. No? Okay, that's okay. So we are going to go ahead and take out their base here. 
lost my heroes. Uh, things like that are going to happen, especially when we get to R10. It could happen, could not, but I just got to the, uh, they have a 5 fight. 5 a 5 revite on his Vlad and Santa Bloom, things like that. So, ended up, uh, fell, fell, falling short with my heroes, but I still got the 100%. That's all that matters. So, therefore, so there's, I got, there's 10 here, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 20,000 honor badges that I possibly could have gotten from when I had, if I added that up correctly, not from whenever y'all started watching the video, because I started watching R4, but uh, including these right here, so that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, okay, so that's 20,000 honor badges that I got, but uh, that is that, guys, um, so yeah, that's pretty much how you run through expeditions, guys, pretty much, long story short, use your distant heroes first. Uh, let them proc on all the on their heroes in the middle of their base, and then we'll have them wipe them out, and then you put your your main heroes in to go ahead and finish off the base. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Want to get a quick video out there for y'all? wasn't necessarily quick, but it was a uh, little informational video. Some of y'all may not know much about hero expeditions. Just wanted to help y'all out. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe as always, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Oh my gosh, subscribe. But yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.